Hey guys, today we're taking a look at the brand new gun, the Hellion. This is a first looks video, not a full review. I don't have enough rounds quite yet through this gun to make a full review on it. I was given this gun early by Springfield Armory to be able to test and show off for the release. And that's what I want to do is to give you guys a really good idea of this gun for the release date, just to help you make a better decision if this is something that you might want to purchase or not. Uh, early on. Maybe you want to wait till the full review is done to find out how this gun runs, which I totally understand. But for those of you that want to purchase this right away as soon as possible, hopefully this video will help you out and give you a good idea of this gun and all the details. Just a brief history of this gun before we get started. This is actually based off the rifle, the VHS. It is used by the Croatian Army and Springfield Armory ended up importing it here into the States for us to be able to use. So the first thing you're gonna notice about this is this thing just looks really cool. This is a bullpup design, and for those of you that don't know what that is, all your action and everything is in the back here, so this allows you to have a 16-inch barrel and such a small platform. This is actually only 28 inches long, so it is a very small gun for how long of a barrel you have. So like I mentioned, Springfield Armor sent this to me early, which is really cool because I'm able to go out and do some shooting with it, get a good idea of what I think about the gun so I can share that with you on the release date here to help you make a better decision. This is something you want to purchase. So let's just go over this gun really quick with butt to the front and we'll go over some of the key details. So one thing I think that's cool I've never really seen on a bullpup is this actually has an adjustable stock, which is cool. So it's five points, so you can adjust it wherever works best for you. I find it best just to work it right in the front spot and that is the best for me. But depending who you are and what kind of optic you put on there, you can adjust this. You got a nice cheek well here up top and then you've got right here which is a little weird and I'm not sure I actually like it yet. I'm gonna have to play around with this a little more. I'm really used to the AR platform but this is actually the bolt release. So I'm not saying this is a bad design but it's something that I need to get used to and something that was a little bit hard for me when I was out at the range playing with to know and remember to go back here and press. So it'll be something in the full review I'll be able to let you guys know if this is something I like or don't like or how it works. Now a little more forward here is where your mag goes. So you got this little plate that sticks down that you're magazine goes into your magazine release is right here and I actually really like this because I think it's really good for stripping magazines and I think it's in a good spot because when you're going in to grab that mag you're already kind of in that place so your thumb almost naturally lays there and then you're able to pull that magazine out so for those of you that like ARs like me it's going to be different so I understand different <laughs> change is scary but uh, if this is something you want to get into uh, something you're going to get used to so the release is there to me I think it does feel natural now the only thing I don't like about this magazine spot is the fact that it doesn't have any kind of flared magwell. It is basically the exact size of your mag. So that's something I noticed right off the bat was there is no flare to that. So you're just going to be a little more precise in your mag changes. So now moving up, you have ambidextrous ejection ports. You have one on that side and here. So this gun is completely ambidextrous. You can switch things over. Your safety selectors are ambidextrous, your ejection ports. So it is nice having everything be able to switch depending on if you are a left-handed shooter or a right-handed shooter. So now moving up top even a little bit further, or your flip up sights. This has integrated sights. Now on the test, I actually use these sights because it's what's on the gun. So I didn't want to use an optic for the testing. Obviously iron sights aren't quite as accurate as an optic or easier to use, but I wanted to use the sights that came with the gun first with the first initial shooting. So I do like these sights. I think they're nice. I really like the fact that they actually come with the gun. They feel sturdy. They look good. Um, the use of them, I mean, they're iron sights. There's nothing really wildly fancy about them, but it is really nice that the gun comes with them. I added the primary arms micro prism on here, and that's what I'm probably going to be doing all the testing with. With. I might change it up eventually, but for right now, this is what's going to stay. So now moving back down, your safety selector. Like I said, this is ambidextrous. It works easily, has a very tactile click, and it's very positive when you are switching. Now for the grip. I really like the fact that they went with the AR grips. So you can go with your favorite AR grip. This one comes with a BCM grip, which I think is fantastic and a really quality grip. So I don't see myself or very many people actually switching this. But for those of you that are really dedicated to a certain grip and maybe it's not this one, they might switch it. But it is cool that they allow you to be able to go with AR grips, which there's so many on the market. Uh, and everyone already has their favorite. So you can just go with your favorite one and switch it out if you don't like this one. But like I said, this is a super nice grip. So now for the trigger. Me personally, I'm not a big fan of bullpup triggers just because because of the way they have to be designed with the way the gun is set up and where things are located. I find them to not be the best triggers out there. I mean, bullpups aren't super known for their fantastic triggers. Um, so this trigger is not the worst trigger out there, but it's also not gonna blow you away and make you impressed with how awesome the trigger is. So to show you, for those of you that really like this, it has some take up here. It's a little bit mushy here, and then you have the break and then the reset. is right there, and then you can go back to it. 
Now for the ambidextrous charging handle. I really like this. I think it's cool that you can just switch it back and forth like that. So if you want to charge it the other way for some other reason, you're on that side, you were able to move it to that side. Or if you want to go this way, you can go in and grab it. I find it pretty easy to actually get in there and grab. It's not too small of a space here that you gotta like just stick your finger in there. You can get the majority of your hand in there. I have small hands, but I have not found any problem with being able to get in there and grab the charging handle. So I do like that and how that's designed. So now for the handguard. This really just reminds me of a really basic Magpul handguard. It's nice because you have M-lock slots here, there, and you also have QD points as well for slings, which is also all over the gun here, which is nice because you can immediately attach a sling and not have to add anything different. So I'm going to add a flashlight here. I'm gonna go with the Cloud Defensive Rain. I put a point here for the actual tape switch because there's no way to put the tape switch up here because of how high it is. It'd be kind of silly to be able to actually uh, actuate the gun or the light. So I'm going to be putting the tape switch on this side and the light on this side. So we'll see how that works, or I might just end up going with the clicky one and leave it on the left side but we'll play around with that, with that. but i do like the handguard because it is simple nothing gaudy nothing crazy lightweight and easy to use now up here for your gas system you are able to change this from suppressed to unsuppressed i really like guns that do that because it just makes it super easy to suppress your guns or if you're having ejection issues or any other problems you're able to adjust the gas system super easily so it's just as simple as switching left to right to be able to switch that from suppressed or unsuppressed now you do have a 16 inch cold hammer forged barrel it does seem nice and accurate i'll be doing a lot more accuracy tests once i get this sighted in and get a bipod on i'll go out to 350 yards maybe farther and see about shooting some steel from there and see how accurate this gun is that is a quick overview of the whole gun to give you a really good idea of all of its features but let's go out to the range real quick and actually see this thing in action sorry for the wind hopefully it is not too bad but it's really windy out here really cold let's go ahead and shoot the first mag really excited about this one all right Coil is really low, really controllable with it. Let's get back at it. I don't know if I like the safety selector. It's very different than what I'm used to. It's a lot higher, so I really got to get used to getting up there. We'll see how we do that later. So there we go. It's the first mag. We're gonna put another one in here. So you got the bolt lock back. The bolt releases here is a little bit goofy, something I'm not used to, so I need to get used to doing that. But I like the mag release there. It just seems really comfortable when you're going to release the mag. Everything's right here. You can strip it really easily and go back for your other one. So then your bolt release is right there. So let's go ahead and do a couple more shots here and then. All right, let's go back. I don't want you to me right here. We'll go back to about 100 to 200 yards, see if we get hit, and uh, we'll go from there. Right here at 100 yards, we'll see if we can hit it here with the iron sights. That wind would stop for a second. So as you can tell in the video, I had a lot of fun with this thing out at the range. Going to be doing a lot more shooting with this to do a full review on this to give you guys a really good idea of this gun, how it functions, how it works. Didn't have any malfunctions out at the range that day, and hopefully it stays that way. We don't have no problems with this gun, and I can give you a really good report on the full review. But other than that, guys, I really love the look of this gun. It's really unique, really different than all the other guns I have right now because I have a lot of like ARs, AKs. Well, that's not an AR. That's an AR MP5 kind of a, a love child between the two uh, AKs. But really like getting different guns like this and really excited and happy that Springfield is importing guns that are different and doing something more fun and you know just changing it up a little bit than the normal you know AR platform that everyone else is doing so it's cool to see different guns like this for everyone to get a hold of and uh, be able to go out to the range and have a good time with so if you have any questions about this gun or any of the features or maybe something I forgot to mention please put it in the comments and I will try to answer it as quick as possible if I can't answer it I will find somebody that is able to answer it and be able to give you that information as quick as possible but other than that guys really excited to test this one out and have a full review later down the road with it if you want to help out the channel and the things i do here there's a couple ways to do that down in the description there are some discount codes from companies i trust that help you save some money and there's a link to my website from there you can go to other websites like brownells air precision anything you purchase using those links does help out the channel a ton and i appreciate that if not i say appreciate you guys liking sharing subscribing those things do help as well the other company is howitzer and ta targets both these companies are fantastic ta targets is a great target company and howitzer is a clothing company that donates five percent of proceeds to charity 
security, which is really cool. And you can use code Tactical Advisor for TA Target to save 10% off. Both those companies are great, and I appreciate them for the support they have for the channel. I've got this gun here. This is a PSA AKP that I'm going to be doing some testing on and a review later down the road. If you guys have any questions about this one, shoot it in the comments, and I will put those in the review and try to answer those. But that one's fun as well. Going to be building this one out a little bit more. I haven't decided exactly where I want to go with it. But other than that, guys, thank you so much. I appreciate you all. Thank you.